Hello all. This tutorial will demonstrate how to add and edit dimensions in model space. Before we work on it, it would be better to understand three different methods to add CAD dimension scale settings. Method 1. Dimension in model space for printing or plotting in model space. This method is the traditional method used with single view drawings. The method needs the typical text height charts for correct text height. Please refer to this site in the link. And it is challenging to be flexible in drawing scale. If your drawing scale changed from 1 8 inches to 1 4 inches, the text height for 12 point needs to be changed from 12 inches to 6 inches in model space. Method 2. Dimension in model space for printing or plotting in paper space, which is layouts. This method was the preferred method for complex and multiple view drawings using annotative. We will explain it more and will practice this method for our project. Method 3. Dimension in layouts. This method is the simplest dimensioning method. Just add all dimensions in layouts, but using this method is confusing because you have to change the mode from model space to layout space for adding dimensions. Please this link page about setting the scale for dimensions. This text heights in paper space are the recommended height for the purpose of the texts. 10 points equals 330 seconds inches in paper space. This size of the font is for the minimum font to read. 12 points equals 1 8 inches in paper space. This size of the font is for the standard text size. 18 points equals 3 16 inches in paper space. This size of the font is for the subtitle text size. 24 points equals 1 4 inches in paper space. This size of the font is for the title text size. Understand the types of dimensions. The basic types of dimensioning are linear, radial, angular, ordinate, and arc length. Please read this linked page about the types of dimensions. First, before you add dimensions, move the inserted drawing image to avoid accidental deletes and confusion. Move the image to the right side, 100 feet, or any number that you can easily remember. You might need to move the image back to the original position if you needed. Note. Make sure you checked on ortho mode using the function 8 key. Second, set drawing scale. Before you start to add dimensions, it is recommended to set the drawing scale first. Sometimes, the drawing scale can be changed for the drawing. However, once you set the drawing scale, less work is needed at the end. The drawing scale is defined with some factors like the paper size, purposes of submissions, and more. For this project, you will be asked to practice your drawings in 11 inches by 17 inches in horizontal layout. Although the inserted original drawing scale is 3 8 inches equals 1 foot, your drawing scale should be 3 16 inches equals 1 foot. To set the scale, click the drawing scale 1 to 1 and select the drawing scale 3 16 inches equals 1 foot. If you cannot find the FT in types of scale, click custom. Click add. Add the name of the scale 3 slash 16 equals 1 dash 0. Add the value on paper units 3 16. Add the value on drawing units 12. Click OK to complete the custom scale. Click OK to set the scale. Third, set dimension style. A dimension style is a named collection of dimension settings that control the appearance of dimensions, such as arrowhead style, text location, and lateral tolerances. Please read this linked page about dimension style. Step 1. To open Dimension Style Manager, click Annotation Ribbon tab, click small arrow on Dimension Panel, or, type DDIM and press the Enter key. Step 2. Click Annotative. Click Set Current. Click Modify to open Modify Dimension Style, Annotative window. Step 3. Click Lines tab. Adjust the baseline spacing to 1 slash 1 6. Adjust the extend beyond dim lines to 1 slash 16. 
adjust the offset from origin to 1 slash 1 6. Step 4. Click the symbols and arrows tab. Adjust the first arrowheads to architectural tick. Adjust the second arrowheads to architectural tick. Adjust the arrow size to 1 8 inches. Adjust the brake size to 1 16 inches. Adjust the jog height factor to 1 16 inches. Step 5. Click the text tab. Adjust the text height to 1 8 inches. Select aligned with the dimension line. Step 6. Click the fit tab. Make sure annotative is checked. Step 7. Click the primary units tab. Adjust the unit format to architectural. Adjust the precision to 1 8 inches. Step 8. Click OK to complete the modification. Click close to finish the dimension style manager. Fourth, we will learn how to add dimensions. Step 1. Change layer to the Aano Dims layer. Step 2. Click the annotate ribbon tab. Make sure the dimension style is annotative. Click linear to draw dimensions. Or, type dim and press enter. If linear does not fit your purpose, please select the types of dimension style that you want to add. Step 3. Make sure you turn on object snap. Click the intersection point at the top left corner of the building column grids. Click the next intersection point for dimensioning. Click a third time to place the dimension line and text. Step 4. If the dimensions are in a continuous string, please use continue from the annotation tab, dimensions panel. Add additional dimension lines to the previous dimension. Step 5. Repeat to dimension all column grids for the first floor and overall building dimensions. Add a new dimension style 330 seconds inches text size. It is annotative, and this dimension is for interior wall dimensions. Step 1. Type dim, and press enter key to open dimension style manager. Step 2. Click new to create a new dimension style. Step 3. Add new style name annotative 3 to 32. Check start with annotative, annotative checked. And click continue. Step 4. Adjust arrow size from symbols and arrows to 1 8 inches. Adjust text height from text to 3 30 seconds inches. Click OK, click set current, and click close. Step 5. Make sure your layer is correct in Aano Dim's layer. Step 6. Type Dim, and press the Enter key and start dimensioning for the interior walls. You do not need to match your dimensions exactly. I hope this tutorial clarifies how to add and edit dimensions in AutoCAD. Thank you.